over 22,000 cancers in the United Kingdom um, every year are, are due to um, an excess of weight in those individual patients. So there's very clear um, increased risk of cancer and those individual cancer types um, in people who are obese. One are the sort of estrogen sensitive cancers um, like womb cancer, we call that endometrial cancer, um, but also breast cancer. Um, and then also thinking about it in the context of the, um, the, the gullet, the gastrointestinal tract. So esophageal cancer, gastric cancer, pancreas cancer, liver cancer, bowel cancer risks are all increased in people who are obese. altered signaling, uh, signaling molecules being released from fat, and they may include hormones like uh, um, estrogen, um, metabolic components that, that stimulate proliferation of estrogen sensitive tissues like the womb, uh, for example, um, but also um, other mechanisms, including insulin um, signaling through uh, growth factors and uh, the insulin receptor. Um, and then adipokines, which are sort of in, you know, they're sort of peptides, hormones released from fat um, that signal to peripheral tissues to stimulate proliferation. So there's a lot of work going on in this area, but right now we don't know exactly how obesity causes those 13 or is associated with the increased risk of those 13 different cancer types. The consequences on um, healthcare provision are absolutely enormous. Um, we currently spend about six billion pounds a year on uh, managing health conditions rate related to obesity. And of course, as the uh, prevalence of obesity increases, so will um, the cost uh, both to the patient and the taxpayer increase proportionately. So this is a very big problem. Of course, it's not just cancer either. Um, a number of other medical diseases are caused by obesity too. So the burden um, on the patient and the healthcare system will be, will be enormous. I think it's very sad. I think one of the key ways in which we can encourage healthier eating habits is by restricting um, junk food marketing and um, volume based pricing. So these these sorts of buy one, get one free offers. Um, again, these disproportionately hit people in, in more deprived areas. Uh -huh. 